So today we're going to take a look at some uh, suitcase uh, stoves. Starting with the Optimus 22B, it's the smallest and most compact. It's a lovely brass steel number. And then we have a Canadian made Coleman. It's in the original box though. It's even got the shipping thing where it was uh, sent to Toronto, Ontario. So this is the 4M stove. It's another two burner suitcase. And finally we're going to look at the mighty three burner Coleman uh, with an 18,000 BTU main burner. None of these stoves are any longer made. This was the last one to go out of production. This lovely unit is the 22B. It's a uh, Optimus in Sweden. It's got the nice little pull out tank. That's uh, I believe a one liter tank. Uh, it's got two burners, both of them go full power. Unlike these Coleman's that have a main burner and an auxiliary burner, both of these burners are full power burners. Come on, two minutes. And about 2.45 it's uh, boiling. Three minutes it's a rolling boil or 255. This is about 30 seconds behind the Coleman. 30 seconds behind the Coleman. I was very lucky to find this uh, stove. This is a 425B made in Canada. Basically in new condition. You look at some of the little details here. It's got a nice little leg that comes up over the top to shut it. And it's got this nice little little device here that holds it open and closed. Nice little detail. We open it up. And like all the Coleman's it has the nice windscreen. Okay, so there's the mighty Canadian Coleman. Pump her up and get her going here. And we'll see how long this one will take. So be back when we put the pot. And coming up to two minutes. Oh, she's starting to go here. Pretty good. So that's at about uh, 215, 220. So it's anything is slightly faster than the 22B or monster is the Coleman 428. And this we used up in Nunavut, north of the tree line where you needed to go out and uh, we had an arctic oven tent and this was the thing that we used to use as a tent heater, as a stove and what was great about it is these big tanks will burn eight hours on low so you could uh, take the chill off your tent and uh, I wouldn't try this at home but that's what we did there so this is a monster an interesting thing about these Coleman stoves is they still it's good to preheat especially when it's cold and this is how we do that Got the nice pump. I actually changed this pump off for the Arctic pump, which has a leather pump. And I just fill the cap by uh, spraying some uh, spraying some gas out of the fuel can, so we'll be able to get some fuel on there. There we go. So there. We'll preheat the generator. Okay, we'll come back when she's going. Okay. Okay, 135, let's see how she's doing. Oh, she's getting close. Notice it has two auxiliary burners. So those uh, mean that you've got, uh, you can make quite a feast on this stove. Okay, 145. Starting to boil. 55. Two minutes. Two minutes she's boiling. So even outside that's uh, you know, she's a rolling boil at about 210. Just to show you the difference between the size, there's the 22B. 
She's got two 10,000 BTU burners. And it's about five, six pounds and fits in that nice little case there. And here's the giant three burner Coleman, which has an 18,000 BTU and two, I think they're 8,500, memory serves me correct, uh, BTU burners. Um, both really great stoves. This guy's a lot easier to take canoeing. It's my favorite canoe stove because you can uh, cook for a whole family on you know, this pretty easily. Um, it was almost out of fuel, so we're going to give it one more go here. Well, it's pretty quick and it's, uh, it's uh, very compact for canoeing and uh, putting on a sled or wherever, whatever you're doing. So, probably my favorite stove, but now that they're reaching $500, uh, it's not quite as fun to take them out anymore. I don't know why, I guess they've got a collector's uh, value. It's beyond uh, really their use. So that's a bit of a problem, but uh, they're still a very nice stove. Thanks for watching.